Hey everybody, Blythe here from Cut the Fat Podcast. I got a new tool, believe it or not. Yes, I'm running a little late with this, but I got a zoodle maker. So I found uh, a recipe that I'm going to try today. Um, I'm just preparing dinner a little bit early today. So I am going to be making uh, garlic chicken zoodles with a little bit of spinach inside. Hi Karina, thanks for tuning in. So I was kind of intimidated when I actually got this for Christmas, so I'm a little late even starting to use it. But um, I was a little intimidated because I didn't know how big the zucchini had to be or how difficult this was to use. And as you can see, I've already shredded up a few zoodles so you don't have to watch me, but um, so easy. If you do not have a zoodle maker, you have to get one. I've been buying the uh, frozen fresh zoodles that they have at Trader Joe's and I just thought, it's so much easier just to make it on my own. So I'm gonna show you how simple this is, okay? I'm not great with gadgets and stuff like that, but um, so I'm making garlic chicken zoodles. So first we're going to uh, get two cloves of garlic. I've already peeled these so you don't have to watch me peel garlic. And I'm gonna make a few more of the zucchini noodles. All you do is you take the shredded side. There is a serrated side and there is a flat side. The flat side is really cool for making like big wide flat noodles if you wanna make them out of, um, you could even do like an eggplant or something if you wanted to. Uh, and if you do like an eggplant lasagna. But it's really, really easy. It doesn't matter what size the zucchini is, I could not find anything larger than this size. And all you do is put it right in the top and turn. It's so easy and you probably should do it over a bowl, but um, I'm just doing it right here on the countertop. Just keep twisting, really easy. Doesn't require any effort at all. Just the twist of your wrist. Oh, I'm doing the flat side. Okay, so that's my fault. So this is what they turn out like, like a ribbon style. So if you wanted to do like an eggplant lasagna or something or wide noodle pasta, use that wide side. I'm gonna flip it over because that's the side I meant to use. And all you do, same thing, put it in and twist. Very, very simple. The serrations in the blade, turn the zucchini into noodles and it is so, so easy. I mean, you can do an entire zucchini probably in two or three minutes. So this is almost the entire zucchini and it's only been like 30 seconds. Very, very simple to do. And if you want the noodles not to be quite as long, you just pull the zucchini out, it cuts them off and place them into your bowl. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. This is what your zucchini ends up looking like. It looks like, it's kind of like sharpening a pencil, same sort of thing. Feel free to say hi guys if you're watching so I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. Okay, so that's how we make the zoodles. Um, all I'm gonna do is put a little bit of olive oil in this pan. I have, I boiled some chicken. You could also use like a rotisserie chicken if you wanted to. Um, because they're usually fairly flavorful, um, but I have just shredded up some boiled chicken and I've got two cloves of garlic here that I'm going to add into the, I've got this on medium heat, I put a little bit of olive oil in there and I'm just going to crush my two garlic cloves into the pan. And that was fairly simple, let me do the other one. Now this is enough for uh, two people. One zucchini should serve about two people, of course, depending on the size of it though. There's a second garlic clove. We're just gonna put that in there. All right, so that is it for the garlic. Oh, it smells delicious already. I'm going to add a little bit of, um, I got some organic spinach yesterday and it's just easy for me to, you know, wash it, rinse it. I threw it back in the bag just so you guys could see that I'm, I'm using some uh, prepackaged zucchini. I'm just gonna grab two large handfuls because spinach cooks down, as most of you probably know, quite a bit. So we're going to add two handfuls of spinach. We'll just let this cook with the garlic just a little bit. Again, this is like the easiest, quickest recipe of all time. I put about a tablespoon of olive oil in here, two smashed garlic cloves, and two large handfuls of spinach. And that is cooking down real quickly. Oh, Ray's watching. Hi, Ray. Hi, Ariane. Hi, Dana. Thanks for tuning in, guys. All right, that spinach is already starting to cook down. So next, we're gonna be adding the chicken. And remember, if you find that you don't have enough olive oil in there to coat the pan, you can always just add 
a dab more, but really I think a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half maybe will be just enough. We just don't want everything sticking to the pan. All right, next. Super easy. I've got my pre-shredded chicken. Uh, like I said before, you could use like a rotisserie chicken. I boil chicken breasts and keep them in the refrigerator. And then if we want to make like chicken fajitas or whatever, it's already cooked and, and ready to go. In fact, I didn't boil them. I put them in the crock pot. So they cooked yesterday while I was out doing stuff. So dumping the chicken in now. And I was just thinking to myself, you know, you could even add a little bit of lemon juice or something in here if you wanted to. So it could be like a garlic lemon chicken zoodle dish. Just mixing that in with the spinach. And last, basically the chicken just has to be warmed. So lastly, we're gonna add my homemade zoodles. I'm gonna throw those in the pan. Lots of greens in this dish, it should be delicious. And I'm not a huge fan of adding salt, but because I've got just a plain boiled chicken breast here, fresh spinach and fresh zoodles and fresh garlic. Uh, there's not any salt in here yet. So what I'm going to do, got um, this is my favorite actually, the pink Himalayan salt crystals. I like to, my kids like it too. So we just grind it over the top if you wanna add a little bit of salt. Again, you don't have to. Um, we can even do, I've got some coarse ground pepper here. I'm gonna add a little bit of black coarse pepper here. You could really add any extra seasonings that you want. Um, if you wanted to squeeze a lemon or something over the top, I think that would probably be really tasty. All right. So you just want the zoodles to cook enough to kind of absorb some of the flavor from the garlic and the olive oil and the salt and pepper. Just cook them down just a tad. You don't have to do a whole lot of cook time. This is a really, really quick and healthy meal. And I think it's going to be delicious. Now, I haven't tried this yet, but... It sounds like all the ingredients that I love. So let's see here. It's just about done. Um, guys, if you have not been listening to our latest podcast, Dr. Ray and I are starting up a new 60 day challenge starting on Monday, uh, March 2nd. So if you guys are interested in getting in on that challenge, we would love to have you. We do have a few spots left available. Um, just go to cutthefatpodcast.com and click on coaching club. You can get uh, on the email list for the next one coming up if you're not quite sure. But if you're ready to jump in and really, really get those pounds off before summer comes along, reduce your body fat. We want to teach you guys how to do that. We, we, the whole idea is to coach ourselves out of the job. So to educate as many of you as we can on how to go out and do it on your own. Having the group for accountability is amazing. Um, I'm going to say just about every single person in there would uh, vouch for us. So uh, we want to teach you guys what we know. We want to share that knowledge with you and help you put it into action because that extra level of accountability really helps you guys, uh, you know, start moving and just finally do this for the last time. So I think my noodles are done here. If you guys are interested in the coaching, uh, the 60 day cut the fat coaching club, we do have a few spots left. So just go to cutthefatpodcast.com. To make it easy, I'll post a link below this video. Um, and I will also post this recipe below the video. So I've got one small zucchini, two cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of olive oil, and uh, about a pound of chicken. And it's done. Super easy over medium heat. I'm just gonna put it into this bowl right here. You know, this might even be pretty with um, a little red in it. So if you cut up a red bell pepper or something, or um, did maybe a, a little sriracha on top to make it really, really pretty. I think that would be gorgeous. So here is today's uh, early dinner. I've made it early, so it's gonna, it's gonna kind of marinate in its own seasonings and we'll be ready for later. Have a great day, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.